on the build show today we're answering the question how much insulation is the right amount i'm visiting with my friend steve basic if you don't know steve incredible architect does some really high performance work steve how do you answer that question how much insulation for my house so the simplest initial answer to that question is as much as you can afford you can never benefit from too much insulation. you can always benefit from too much insulation that's right so one of the things that I start out with is Building Science Corporation came out with their 10, 20, 40, 65 rule, which is 10 sub slab, 20 foundation wall, 40 above grade wall, 60 on the lid, and five is the windows. And that's kind of where that curve starts to flatten out. Right. So that's where, you know, that stepping off point or tipping point where that insulation for the amount of money makes financial sense in a, in a turnaround. So. Typically, you know, here we use a, a two by eight wall, 24 inches on center. So I limit my thermal uh, bridging. This also has an R9 zip panel on the outside. Mm -hmm. So we get that continuous blanket. It has an R6 to R7 window, depending on whether they're fixed or they're operable. But the walls come in at probably in the, in the R40-ish range, but I like the two by eight. It's one framed wall. It's not a double wall assembly. Mm -hmm. As you can see behind Matt, we have our California corners yep. happening there where we get insulation into the pockets. All the way back here. So we get nice warm corners. Yep. On the headers, rather than, I know a lot of guys want to do insulation in between laminations, et cetera, et cetera. I just size the headers as a uniform height. I push them all the way to the exterior. It cre creates what I call a header pocket. And then our insulator just insulates the header pocket like he does a cavity. It's a little shallower, but it gets the job done. And again, you've got that continuous blanket of zip R on the outside. We got that R, R9 panel that runs around the whole house as a sweater. That's awesome. One last time, give us those numbers from the slab all the way up to the roof. What are the R values we're looking for? So R10 sub slab, R20 for the walls in the, in the basement, R40 above grade walls, R60 at the lid, and R5 for your windows. Man, Steve, good stuff. I'll have a link to Steve's website uh, in the description below. I'll also link to a Building Science Corp paper, which is what Steve's talking about there. But otherwise, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.